I thought you guys both did great in this film. It is, there are some brutal, brutal scenes in it. Mm. I wanted to first talk about the shower fight because it's insane to watch. What was it like preparing for that and just knowing that you would have to be naked for it? Did that kind of change how you would approach it? It's a pretty brutal day, or a few days, two, two days. days. Two days separated by a month, I believe. Really? True. <laughs> because remember the first day we shot it, we were actually in really good spirits and sort of just having fun with it. And it was, the water was cold, but actually the environment, you know, that it was quite a warm day. And then when we came back to shoot the second half of it, it was a month later and we were into real Montenegro winter, mm -hmm. which is where we were shooting it. And it was very, very cold and our, and our um, mood was significantly less chipper. Yeah, after having been there and gotten into that headspace a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And it was just hard, it's hard to be just really, really cold all day and we were both sort of starving ourselves, we were malnourished and, you know, just getting slammed around. I mean, you know, there's no opportunity for any padding or anything when yeah. you're naked. So when you're getting slammed down onto the hard floor and you know, it was, it definitely was one of those days where you think, well, yeah, I don't often feel like I'm earning my money, but I certainly am today. I mean, just watching it too. I mean, there's no music behind it. So it's very like, you, you feel it watching it. Right. Um, so you did do this a month apart and you had been kind of fasting yourselves through that together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it help to kind of have each other to lean on throughout that? It did. I really <laughs> did. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard enough. Uh, it's hard enough for you know any film set trying to uh, keep yourself in the right headspace. Yeah. Uh, in between takes, those hours can uh, can wear on you sometimes. And then you uh, add in not eating, being hungry all day. You definitely want to go through that with someone else. And uh, yeah, it, 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 as difficult as it was, it brought us together. And Charlie had it far more, far worse. I mean, by the by the end of it, for the solitary confinement scenes, uh, he was just a shell. Yeah, I mean, it's insane, that transformation. So mm. Good job. Oh, no, thank you, <laughs> thank you. And then when you are at the end of this, after you know, you've been starving yourselves, going through all this mentally, physically, is there a way you celebrate, or do you just find another way to kind of move past it? It's funny, I had, uh, I had, I did this twice in a row. I lost a lot of film weight for the film that I did before this, and I went out and had a blowout meal the night that I wrapped. I mean, mm -hmm. I ate like, like steak and French fries and ice cream and everything, and was really sick for Learned about 24 fries. hours after that. Not actually vomiting, but my body just went into complete shock. Yeah. And so I didn't this time. And we've talked about this before. The toughest thing in my experience in making films is is the is attempting to reintegrate it, the re-entry into one's normal life after you've had this experience that's so immersive and nourishing and creatively fulfilling and gives one this like singular purpose for every day and then it it ends and all of a sudden you have this enormous absence in your life and then you know there's um there's a lot of neglect has happened to your personal life while you've been in this really immersive experience. So life needs to be sort of rebooted a little bit and it's always difficult. So on this, I sort of, I, my girlfriend said, you know, just go off and escape and sort of do what you need to do for the film, but you know, don't come home until you're ready to see me. Back and so I fair. actually went to uh, London and, and just checked into a hotel and had five days to sort of decompress and learn how to eat again. <laughs> and you know, yeah. you get be, back into it. Yeah, get, try to remember how to be a human being again.